Good evening, the time is 1 p.m. Eastern Time and I'm just going to sum up my trading for the day. Pretty much done, green day and picked off a few, le one of my levels worked really well and I picked up a couple of other trades. Um, on my screen at the moment is the MES 5 minute chart and the MES or the ES, both the same chart. I trade the MES because I like trading the smaller contracts but this is equally the same for the ES. Um, in my pre-market and video earlier, which I apologize for the technical issue of the blank screen, I did re-record it afterwards, so if you missed it or you want to verify the levels from earlier today, then we can um, you can just rewind or go back to the, the latest live video um, I created. Um, on my chart, I'm looking at the open, which is this candle here, and we talked about well, the main area I was really watching today was this area here, 43, 45, that buff area. And I said, that's the area I'm waiting for an entry. And I was pretty much done trading by the time we got to this point. But I still, excuse me, I still took it. I took a smaller um, half size contract and with no ads. And my entry was at 43, 45, just there. And my, my out... In fact, I scalped it because I, I, I didn't want to give back any gains. I didn't want it to pull back up to here for maybe a double top or to continue the trend up. But I was watching Bookmap as well on level two. And I could see up this area we had lots of um, sellers sitting there. Um, 43, 45. So you can see this is the area. This is the, this is the trade I took at the end. And just draw it on. And we had a pretty big area of sellers and we had a 43.50 which could have been a stop loss but I was keeping it quite tight and I didn't need it obviously didn't need to get to 43.50 in the end so let's just um, go over the trade so my entry was 43.45 and my exit so I let it run down to this trade here and I got out at the bottom of this area and then my next out was in fact it pulled back and I got out as it came back down here I, I, I did really want it to break back over that area there so I got out pretty promptly and that was me done for this trade so on good size and had I not taken any other trades prior to that and been green I probably would have gone for a fuller size and I would have averaged in at the levels I discussed earlier um, so I was looking at 44, 44, 44, 44, 45 and probably would have taken it another order as it came back out into that area or back in and retest that area there. So that would have been my entry. I would have been a full, that would have been a two third size. I normally go get quarter sizes every time. So looking for four entries usually. And then my fourth entry is usually a break and retest of that level. And but I only I only took one entry and it was this entry here, the second one I put in, and my out was there. So good good entry. I was using the um, I was using the let's just minimize that. I was using the previous pivot from the open as my area potential out area. So this is the area I was kind of watching for, and it's the eight moving average as well. Obviously it went on and did okay and it even pushed down even further. I had a little bit of um, FOMO, a bit of regret and I did think, oh, maybe I should get back in. But no, walking away. So let's go over my first two trades. So that was my final trade of the day. My first trade was, it was a short off of this level. I saw the double top, two topping tails there. We pulled all the way back into that area and higher concentrated volume as well and it's on the edge of my um, supply zone as well so as it came back down into the supply zone I went short there again just a couple of contracts and I came in yep I'll be there in a second okay and my exit was one exit was there and one was on the VWAP and that was good entry and I took one more trade in fact, my exit was just before the VWAP was probably about there. And then I took one extra trade and it was 
these two bottom tails onto the VWAP, there was a heavy congested volume around this area as well on the, on level two, and it rejected both the VWAP and it rejected the 50 moving average, and it's a trailing, upward trailing moving average as well. So I got in there, and my out was, just look at my outs, it was this area here. So I, I, I basically got out on the same, my target areas there, and at the time I thought to myself, maybe I should hold it up to this area here, because that's the area I was waiting to go short, and it pulled, in fact my out was there on those two topping tails, and it did pull back, and I thought, hey, this is not a bad decision. And I saw on level two, there's a massive big area of concentrated sellers here. And so that's why I got out. And as it pulled back on level two, I thought it was a good out, which it was a good out. And then obviously the buyers picked it back up again. And it did eventually get to the area I was I was going for. So maybe I should have just kept a runner for that area there. And I could have just reversed the runner or something for a scalp back down. So good day. So free trade.